Hey guys, um, we are going to take some notes today. So one of the things that we're going to talk about in Virginia Studies is geography and the idea of geography. And actually, there's a couple different types of geography. There's human geography, and that's how people interact with their environment. And there's physical geography. That is where we are, where we live, what it looks like. So we're gonna talk about some physical geography of Virginia. One of the things you will be responsible for knowing is Virginia and all of the states and bodies of water that surround Virginia. So I'm gonna show you how to create your own map. You don't have to be super good at drawing to do a map like this. You just follow along and we're gonna create our own map of Virginia and the state that surround it. And then I'm going to teach you a little sentence to try to help you remember those things. All right. The first thing that you're going to do is Virginia is kind of like a triangle. So I'm going to make bottom of my triangle and then it's like a goofy shaped triangle. I'm going to make this shape. It kind of looks like that. That's kind of the state, the shape of Virginia. And I'm just going to label right in the middle of it, Virginia, so that I know this is where we live. And actually, if you really want to know, right about up here is where we live. We live in Northern Virginia. All right. Now I'm going to make a couple of weird lines to try to teach you where all these states go. Okay. So first I'm going to make a little peninsula. A peninsula is a piece of land that is surrounded by water on three sides. Then I'm going to make a line right here and one right here. Okay. Then I'm going to make a line kind of right here where this little piece of my triangle is, this little dip down here and then I'm going to make another line right here at the very edge of my triangle and if you're not sure what I'm doing I'm just kind of mapping out where the states are um, I want to make sure I leave this spot at the bottom of my page so that I can write my sentence that's going to help me remember Okay, so then I'm also going to make a little line right here. And now, um, if you have other colors, you can use different colors. If not, you don't have to. It's fine. I'm going to kind of show you over here. This is where the Atlantic, I'm writing Atlantic Ocean. This is where the Atlantic Ocean is. So if you've ever been to Virginia Beach, or even in Ocean City, Maryland, you're swimming in the Atlantic Ocean. Up here is what we call the Chesapeake Bay. This is a hard one to spell, but I'll try my best. This is called the Chesapeake Bay. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the importance of the Chesapeake Bay. So those are the two bodies of water that surround Virginia, the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. All right. So I'm going to start over here with Maryland. I'm going to write it in green. Mary land. This is Maryland. That's where Maryland is. Okay. And then I'm going to choose another color. This big portion is called West Virginia. West Virginia. And if you notice, it's kind of to the west of Virginia. It's like the northwest of Virginia. All right. This state is Kentucky. Kentucky. And then we have the state of this is hard to spell, 10, because uh, there's like so many double letters. That's Tennessee. Okay. 
And right underneath Virginia is North Carolina. So these are the states that surround Virginia. And if you notice, I didn't have to be really great at drawing a map. Um, I just had to know that these are my states that surround Virginia and kind of about where the lines would go. All right, underneath here, I'm gonna write a sentence that's gonna kind of help you remember the order that these states go in. And the sentence is, my wild kitty takes naps. So we take the first letter of each state and we make a sentence out of it. My, M, my, wild, W, kitty, K, takes, T, naps. So I'm gonna write that down for you. And I'm gonna use my colors to show you. So my, Then we're gonna do wild, and then Kentucky is purple, so kitty. Takes nap. Maybe a little exclamation point. So my wild kitty takes naps. That's my sentence that's going to try to help me remember the order in which the states go. My wild kitty takes naps. All right. You can use this map now to do your assignment. Good luck.